not another one. Well, hey guys, my name is Dr. Tom, and I'm seeing more and more cases of a very dangerous problem. It doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl, an adult or a child, it can happen to you. If you've got fingers and a nose, it can happen. I'm talking about stuck picker finger syndrome, and I wanted to introduce my friend Bart. Well, guys, Bart here was sitting home two days ago digging for buried treasure, and unfortunately, his finger got stuck. It's been that way ever since, and he can't spend the rest of his life like this, so we have to do something about it, and we have to do a procedure to remove the finger from his nose. Are you ready, Bart? I guess so. Are you sure there's nothing else you can do? Afraid not. That's about all we can do. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to pick your nose? They did, Dr. Tom, but I didn't listen. I didn't think my finger would ever really get stuck. Yeah, unfortunately it happens more than you think. I see it all the time. You ready to get fixed up? I guess so. About an hour ago, we uh, performed the procedure to remove his finger from his nose, and everything went very well. How you feeling, Bart? Pretty good, I guess. All right, you ready to take a look? Sure. All right, let's come wrap this puppy. That's good, there's no bleeding. Okay, there you go. So it'll be like this forever? It'll never go back? I'm afraid not, Bart, it won't. That's why people tell you not to pick your nose. I should have listened to my mom and dad and not pick my nose, ever. Don't be a Bart, don't pick your nose. And if you see anyone else doing it, tell them to stop immediately.